Shabang! SRM knives. What the deal is? No, I don't believe you. Yes, please believe me. Except, now nah, I'm lying to you about this one. But let's, let's mix them all up. See if we can tell the difference one from the other. SRM knives. Here's a new one to the batch. Got this one just the other day. Steel frame, the 9002 GW. Um, it was invented by, it was originally designed by George Washington, but you know, that's why they named it GW. Or maybe it was G.W. Bush. I can't remember. You know, I just, the presidents are all screwed up in my head. 12C27 blade. Lockout. So you can't disengage this lock bar and close this. You can disengage it some. But not quite all the way. Wow. And when you do, it has a drop like a million dollar knife. Yes, it does. SRM, San Ran Mu. And whether you have always thought this, this was a bunch of dirtbag knives, or you really like these knives because you thought they were super cool value, um, you know, uh, I, would, I would go with the latter. I think they're a super cool value. They're interesting. And you know what? For you steel snobs, you just can't get enough 12C27 in your collection, can you? Well, can you? <laughs> right hand tip up only. I, I Really? Really? I can't believe they didn't throw a couple of holes in here so you could go left. Oh, that's a pity. Now, pocket clip's not too stiff, but it's definitely not real pliable. But at least they gave you that little up and then out so you can get that over the lip of your pocket how about that look at that 9002 so these srm knives they're at all the major retailers online right right <laughs> just depends on of course you know day before i release this video everybody will have them available and so you won't get the uh sarcasm there so one guy was saying, where can you get these knives? And it's like, um, well, so I got these knives. So I'd say ask LTK or message Justin up in White Mountain Knives. Uh, go on to White Mountain Knives site. I'll leave the link and stuff right there in the description section. And message him. If he doesn't have them available, I know he can have them available, okay? So I know uh, that he can get these. And I'm going to let him know that I'm publishing this kind of stuff. So maybe he can get a heads up and get some of these in stock for you. Because I think they're a great value. I know. 12C27, whatever. It's a freaking $28 knife, you know? Just saying. Oh, SRM. In case. They do have a website here. So, SRM. Bingity, bingity, boom. SRM series. So, these are the elite of the San Ranmu. The elite. Only the elite brand is going to be distributed in the US of A. Other than the other elite brand, which is Real Steel, obviously. But see, these are these... 900 or 1005 1005 GQ. I did a review on the 1005 GQ, which has the same freaking handle as this. And I was going to have them both side by side. And guess what? Now this one's gone. And this one's here. <laughs> so this is the real steel Thor T101 special edition knife. And you know, you're on really, you're typically retailing for like 59 bucks. Okay, and it's got the 14C28N Sandvik steel. So yes, you prefer that over 8CR13MOV. I get that. Okay, great bearings, great action, solid knife. Um, you know, liners that are really solid, yet they're skeletonized inside. 
but they show. They're not like tucked up into the uh, scales. So it's thick, it's really rigid, and you got the lockout here on top that can go forward like that and keep this from disengaging all the way, okay? Ambidextrous thumb studs, all that kind of stuff. So real steel, we didn't do this to, to do a, a thing on the real steel, and we are disengaged. Okay, good. Um, I'm looking through the camera. But here's the stable mate, but this is the SRM series knives that are now in the US and 9CR14 MOV. Now, if they get the right heat treat on this thing, uh, this would be a good old user knife, good old beater, right? And man, thick in the hand, heavy duty, really good, big old thick, and it's got backspacer too, just, you know, hello, um, backspacer. And big, thick steel liners that are also skeletonized. Okay. Like that and that. Right? Even though it's still a heavy duty, it's really a heavy dog. really is. But check the, check the edge on this knife. And when I did the one on the blue, come on. I was surprised. Uh, you know, it looked like almost a mirrored edge. Not really, but I mean, almost there. And I said, I got to get, I got to get another one. Uh, to see if, if it was just a quirk. And it's not. I mean, this edge still looks like that, which is crazy. And it's really sharp out of the box. It really is. Come on, let's do a cut test. On, I mean, just cut a little bit of paper, see if the rest of these. Man, good deal. Real steel? Yeah, all good. So, I mean, that, that was just kind of amazing because, I mean, send your knife to somebody to kind of have them... You know, do a really, really nice edge on it. That's 20-something dollars. Hell, this whole knife ain't much more than that. I mean, when you come down and think about it, and it drops like a like a $200 knife. I mean, that is nice. Now, the detent's not that intense, but um, I think it's right. I know it's about a four and a half to five detent, but those bearings are so nice. And I didn't, man, did I? No, I didn't take this part. Crap. I'm going to have to do another video. Well, there's going to be another SM, SRM model coming in, so we'll do it. Ambidextrous thumb studs, nice jumping up here, all this stuff. And, you know, this lockout like you have on the other real steel model where this keeps it from disengaging. So can you see the similarities here? Only, you know, this one retails at almost twice the price of this one. Now, if you go to the SRM site, they say 42 bucks for this, but that's not what they're gonna go for online. Okay, I'm just telling you. I mean, if you go to the Spyderco site and you see what the retail prices are, that's different than if you go to Blade HQ and, and get one. So, you know, I'm just saying manufacturer's site, real steel, uh, or yeah, real steel site. Uh, you look at that. This knife is uh, online. This is selling for 59. It's probably, I don't know, 65 or God only knows on the real steel site. So don't pay attention to that. Now, <laughs> don't pay attention to prices. Ah. In any case, so here you go. Another really good action on this knife look at this interesting it's tanto though and i don't see a drop point available uh so that's a little kind of gets me miffed a little but you know on the other hand on the other hand wow really nice and slender in the hand though this is this is a big difference this knife is a big difference see look at that 10 millimeters 10 and a half, 0.41. So like fancy out here, she's 0.46. So this is even more slender than the Para 2 as far as carrying it. It's a smaller knife. 
a little smaller. We keep moving it a little smaller. And here you go. And it's going to look even smaller in this aspect ratio. Okay. So fancy, she's uh, eight and a quarter overall. Let's get the tape. Red Flanagan, hey, you sitting there looking at me? Seriously, dude? Uh, three and three eighths. And under eight inches overall, seven and three quarter, not quite 20 centimeters. So yeah, it's not a big knife, but it's not that small either. You know, so it's just a perfect little EDC size. Uh, I'm not getting any blade play or lock rock on this. And of course, it's a steel frame, so you don't have an insert that has to come in here. Uh, the lockup is really heavy. It's like 50%, 60%. So that's good. And disengaging this lock bar is really easy. So that is, well, let's just check, check the pass through here. Yeah, see, it's significant, isn't it? Significant. Yeah, I'll have to do a disassembly video on these things. Uh, check out the bearings. I swear to God, I did on one. And they're very simple, captured bearings, but nothing, you know, over to write home about. Um, I have to look and see how they differ, if they're different than these are. Um... Uh, because uh, these are maybe the roller bearings or needle bearings, can't remember uh, on that, but I think these are just very simple captured steel bearings. But you know, man, that's really easy. It's it's pretty easy. The detent's not real strong. It's another like five, maybe at best four and a half really probably somewhere in there you do have a sharpening choil i mean actually the plunge looks pretty good symmetrical uh it's amazing <laughs> it's amazing i mean i don't know what the hell they what did they say for these knives what are they saying there's a George Washington, 34 bucks. That's nightmare price, okay? So you know this is gonna be in the 20s. Probably 27 bucks, something like that, maybe. Uh, so, you know, that's not bad. Maybe 26, I don't know. Uh, um, we'll see when they actually hit the retailers. No jimping on the flipper tab. Fit and finish is really surprisingly good. Uh, and you've got a nice lanyard hole here. Go figure, huh? And the hardware doesn't look trash. It looks shiny. Reasonably nice, actually. I've seen worse, that's for sure. Much worse. So, yeah. And the action's really good. Very intuitive on the flipper tab. You know, great placement. Uh, let's see, but, button. Yeah, push button, not a problem. And of course, light switch, which I usually go, but uh, push button, not a problem. Nice thumb ramp up here with jimping on it. Are they thinking about things? The sharpening choil, thumb ramp with jimping, easy pass through, lockout, because they know this might be a real worker knife. Uh, pocket clip is very simplistic. Unfortunately, you don't get a right hand. But the G10 and the steel, they ain't gonna scar up real easy. It'll, they'll, they're gonna look good for a long time. G10 solid too, you know. And it's got a lot of grip. Nice traction on there because you're not getting much from this smooth uh, steel on this side. But you got this nice finger trail in here. It's comfortable in the hand. It's enough, even though it's not eight inches, it's seven and three quarter, but this is still giving you a handle that's long enough for your hand and comfortable. Reverse grip, very comfortable. So either way, the ergos are really good, very slender, so it'll slide right in your pocket. Now, how much does it weigh? Get out of here. Let's get the scale in. 
It's the way down. What do you think? I mean, 3.6 ounces for a steel frame knife that's almost 8 inches. That's not bad, actually. 102 grams. 102 grams. Now, let's get some... Come over here. Oh, fat fatty. 102 grams, you think? 180. 180.2. Not 102. 180.2. Oh, Lord. What are you going to weigh? I don't even want to know, do I? 6.36 ounces. Now, you want a chunk of change? I'll tell you what. This and that lion steel looking blade, I think that is the boss be all. In fact, I'm going to get me a Ganzo 720. I'm going to put it. I got to do that. I got to put it with these. And then I'll get the blue one back. Get another blue. And get this red, black, the blue, black. And the 720 Ganzo, put them together. What do you think? Now, that'd be kind of fun. And then maybe by that time, I've got another SRM model that I'll bring on. And we'll do like an SRM party budget Ganzo remix tape. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be, uh, that'd be freaky. You know. I'll take my, you know, my jollies any way I can. I mean, I know it's just cheap, cheap fun, but it's cheap fun. Look at this back, left and right hand. Oh, somebody says, hey, if you get the red and black, show it to us on camera. So I kind of did that more than I probably should have. But this one is really slender, very light, half the weight of this one. So it just depends. You, you want a bruiser? Crazy big bruiser like this, or a smaller, more slender, lighter knife. See what I'm saying? Now, flip these around, different aspect ratio. It's not, you're not that far off. This is almost eight. I think this is now I forgot. I need to look at my review of the blue one. Yeah, it's just, it's just eight. I mean, so there's only like a quarter inch difference in the size between these two knives. They are pretty close to the same. But you know, the height here. Where's that other knife? Where'd it go? There it is. Crazy, huh? Crazy. Did I look at this? I wanted to look at this. Yeah, three. that's got to be 3.2, 0.132 inch, yeah, 3.2 millimeters. So yeah, and we did this earlier, but just to make that point, right? Very slender, 10 and a half millimeters. I just can't get over this action. This is actually a fun little flipper toy. Look at that drop. Man, not bad at all, actually. Not bad at all. But, you know, hey, not to put down the real steel products. That's that Sandvik. If you want that 14C28N. And you know what? I can't tell you how many people couldn't get enough of the T101 here last year. Whew. 2017. We were all eating it up. I'll tell you what. I've, I at least saw 15 of these roll through my place. I kept putting them out on table sales. I kept... I kept saying, I got to have one in my collection. I got to have one for my own, like, EDC, you know, rotation. Because I really do like this knife a lot, okay? And then it, it'd come up and I somebody buy it off of me. And I just keep reordering, keep reordering. Um, this one, I, I don't know, but I... No, I do know. I got to have at least this one or the blue and black in uh, my EDC rotation of like, you know, just who gives a crap, beater knife, everyday user type thing. And then just a really good looking design. Really good looking design. This one, because it's Tanto, I don't know. But it's light. 
Um, it's so light and it's not that much smaller lengthwise. Uh, I don't know. It's slender. It, now I'll have to think on that. I'm going to rummage around in the SRM site, see what else I can come up with. Cause I have a lot of fun with these budget knives. I know you kind of can tell that by watching my reviews, but, uh, oh, well, Hey, let the other people review all the zero tolerance knives. I'm going to review them too, but um, I can't dwell on just the, the mainstay stuff. I always got to go wandering off somewhere. I'm, I'm curious to see what else is going on. And you know, you always got that little challenge. Like how little money can I pay and still get a good quality knife? I mean, you, you chase that dog. I chase that dog. I do. It's like, what can I really, I mean, not to the extreme, but I mean, I even saw Birdshot. Remember that video where he and Frankie uh, picked up the Walmart, you know, no name type knives and stuff. And we're having a ball with them. I mean, that's, see, that, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That kind of stuff. They have fun doing that. And I totally understand that. I totally get it. So yes, yes, it's a lot of fun. Okay. Flanagan, you back up. I pushed you out of the picture, didn't I, bud? Sorry about that. All right. Get out of here. And come back again. Yes, because you know what we do around here. We love them knives, so stay sharp.